One of the Charter's primary objectives is to demand fairness and due processes in the delivery of public services. Although member states represent divergent societies from autonomous nations, the collective respect for and conformity to national laws, regulations and policies is prominent in the Charter. Unethical behaviour and corruption is a universal phenomenon in public administration and exists at all levels of government. Therefore, students and practitioners in the public sector should be able to identify manifestations of unethical conduct and devise measures to combat such conduct. The Code of Conduct for Public Service Agents includes Professionalism To the public servant in contact with the members of the public, professionalism is the quest for the greatest level of client satisfaction. Public servants should be impartial and demonstrate professionalism in all aspects of their duties. They are also to demonstrate excellence and act responsibly in accordance with national laws. Ethics Ethical behaviour by all public service practitioners is ensured by a strict code of conduct which prohibits any soliciting, acceptance or receiving directly or indirectly of any payment, gift, donation or reward in kind or cash for public services rendered. Ethics embody the ideals people should strive for and how people, especially public servants, should behave. All public officials are expected to act in the best interest of the public, even if that means that their own needs become secondary. Public functionaries and legislators have to conduct themselves appropriately in the performance of their functions. Therefore, they are required to make and subscribe to oaths or solemn affirmations before assuming their duties. Medical personnel, army personnel and members of the judiciary are just some of the public servants who make an oath before the performance of their duties. Ethics is one of the enduring values of public management. In other words, it is one of the cornerstones of service to the public. Incompatibilities and Conflict of Interest Public servants should not participate in making decisions or intervene in situations in which they have vested interests. They should also not hold any positions that are incompatible with their public service or that they end up benefiting unfairly. A public servant cannot be both submitting a tender bid as well as adjudicating it. Preventing and Combating Corruption Corruption is recognized as the biggest impediment to development. The aim of every public institution should be to promote the welfare of society. Thus, every action of an office bearer or official should be of value to the citizens. Governments can implement a variety of remedies to combat unethical conduct in their institutions. Some of the most common remedies are whistleblowers, monitoring and investigation, transparency, clear rules and guidelines, political leadership, statutory guidelines and codes of conduct, organizational arrangements, accountability incentives, linking strategy with ethics and social responsibility. Declaration of Assets Public service agents shall declare their assets and income at the beginning, during and at the end of their service as prescribed in national laws and regulations.